Hi! Okay, so it's been a minute. Well, not really. It's only been a few days, but whatever. Uh, this past week has just been crazy. Anyways, um, I'll talk about that in a vlog or something like that. Um, but today I'm going to do a tag, the my first time tag. So I have the questions screenshotted on my phone, so that's why I'll be looking down a lot. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. Okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, the first one says, first tweet. Hold on, I think I still have it on my phone, actually. Let me just, um... I'm still in January. <laughs> okay, yeah, it doesn't go back that far, but I have 6,242 tweets. But basically, my first tweet was in, like, July of 2013, and I was like, Ooh, my first tweet, I just made a Twitter something silly like that. I was about 15 or 16. Okay, my first YouTube video. Well, I don't have that many, but my first one, okay, so my first one on this channel is literally called YouTube Video 1. <laughs> it's so stupid, and I'm sitting there, and there's terrible lighting, and my mouth, and the words don't match, and I look so ugly. It's bad. But, fun fact, that wasn't my first YouTube video ever. The first one I made ever was one that I made later in 2013. Uh, I was 16. Yeah, I was a junior in high school and I look like a baby and it's hard to believe but it's even more stupid than the first one on this channel. I'll actually link that below because it's, well, oh, this is so funny. Okay, what's next? First Facebook profile picture. Now this I know I still have. My first one ever was this. <laughs> Which isn't even, in, in, uh, isn't even my face. And I remember I put that on there because I was trying to be slick because I wasn't allowed to have a Facebook but I made one anyway so I was like trying to hide it from my dad. But the first one of my face was this. Yep, that was me. Jingle Bell Rock, why is this playing? <laughs> um, anyways, that was in seventh grade. And all of that jazz. Hot Shell Ray to Jingle Bell Rock. Okay, let's switch that. Okay, so anyways, so that was that. Um, do you still talk to your first love? Yes, I do, actually. We are still very good friends. Now, by first love, let me clarify, it was probably puppy love. But nonetheless, we still talk and we've been best friends for like six years, so that's cool. Um, what was your first alcoholic drink? Um, well, I've never been drunk, let me just disclaim that. But I've tried things. The first thing I've ever tried ever was in sixth grade and it was champagne. I thought it was Sprite and I tried it and I was like, well, bleh, no. <laughs> so, yeah. Not Sprite, children. Um, what was your first job? I've never had a job. Uh, I tried to get a job for this semester of school actually, but I just didn't have time, nor is my car down here with me, so that wasn't going to work out. So that one is an A. Um, what was your first car? Well, my first car is the same car I have now. It is a 2008 Jeep Grand Cherokee, and it is a beautiful red color, and her name is Ruby because she's red, and also that's my birthstone, and also it just sounds nice. Ruby, the red Jeep, my car. I'll leave a picture because I'm pretty proud. She's my child. <laughs> um, who is the first person to text you today? Um, I don't know. I had a bunch of messages. I had a couple of Snapchats. I had... I don't think I had any texts, but I had notifications from everything else. 
So I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> Probably this Snapchat from my friend from last night. I guess. Anyways. Um, who is the first person you thought of this morning? I didn't really think of anyone, to be honest. I literally was dreaming of McDonald's french fries. <laughs> um, who, wait, who was your first grade teacher? Ms. Dillo. I remember that. That was, she was a really good teacher. She was really awesome. Where did you go on your first ride on an airplane? I went to Washington, D.C. the summer after fifth grade with my grandparents. Um, who is your first best friend and do you still talk? Um, okay, well, my first best friend ever was, Re her name was Rebecca and we met in kindergarten and we were friends, we were pretty good friends when we were younger and then we went to different schools when we got older and then eventually I moved all together. And we don't really talk a lot anymore. We still keep up with each other on social media. Uh, and, you know, maybe from time to time. But that's that's about it. Yeah. Uh, where was your first sleepover? Uh, probably either at Rebecca's house or my friend Carly at the time. Yeah. Wait. Okay. What was the first thing you did this morning? Well, last night I was hanging out with some friends, and so this morning I woke up and I was like, <laughs> like a zombie. Literally, the only way they got me up is because they promised me food. So, <laughs> um, um. What was the first concert you ever went to? Okay, well the first big concert, I, I've only been to two concerts ever. And the first one was Winter Jam in 20, tw 2012. Whoa, that was a long time ago. I was a freshman in high school. And I saw the Newsboys, I saw um, a some like smaller bands, but the Newsboys and Skillet were there and they were the main ones I was interested in and so that was really awesome and the only other concert I've been to was One Direction in Atlanta in 2014 of fall, wait fall of 2014, my senior year and I went with a bunch of friends and it was so much fun. Okay. First broken bone. I've never broken a bone. <laughs> okay. First piercing my ears, just basic. First foreign country you've gone to. I haven't been to a foreign country, but I really, really want to go to Africa. This will be a good video to make like 20 years from now. Um, first movie you remember seeing. Uh, honest, honestly, when I was little, I used to watch Fox and the Hound a lot with my papa and nana so I remember that but I'm sure that wasn't the very first one I ever saw um when was your first detention I in school was the definition of a goody two shoes I never got detention except for this one time in um like fourth or fifth grade this girl we were in line to go outside and this girl was like talking and we weren't supposed to be talking and then uh, she made it seem like I was talking and then we both got detention and blah blah blah. It was really stupid. Okay, who is your first roommate? Well, my roommate now, her name is Mariah. She's been my first and so far only roommate. Although, next semester, yeah, blah, 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 blah. next year I'll be rooming with uh, two of my friends from Color Guard and we have an extra room, which will be, we have some other friends that might live there, so we'll see. Okay. If you had one wish, what would it be? Probably a pass 
to travel the world. Yeah, that would be my one wish, to just travel wherever, whenever, unlimited. I had enough, like, money and support and everything, and just, yeah, that, that would be my wish. Okay. What was the first sport you were involved in? Okay, I was just having this conversation the other day. I didn't, I... I haven't really played a lot of sports. I've been involved in a lot of things, but the only sport I think I was, like sport sport I think I was ever in was tennis. Now obviously I do color guard, I'm in marching band, which uh, in high school it's, some people don't think it's a sport, but I, I think, <coughs> sorry, I think a sport is anything where you're competing and in high school you compete but now in college we just do it to entertain and I mean you probably work as hard as some of the sports you know but some of the sports but it, we don't compete in college so it's not really but I did tennis freshman year of high school and yeah I was involved in a lot of things but athletics Um, what is the first thing you do when you get home? Now, home being my dorm room or home being like home home? Home home, the first thing I do is probably go to sleep. Home being my dorm room, the first thing I do is probably go to sleep. <laughs> uh, when was your first kiss? Okay, well, I have three answers. If you count first kiss ever then it was in kindergarten with this boy named Zach and yeah it was like and that was it <laughs> if you count older than that then it was in 8th grade and it was this boy named Ken and it was again it was basically just like okay if you count first like real kiss I don't know I didn't do a lot in high school first real kiss was probably just a year later freshman year of high school with my little boyfriend at the time named Kyle and we kissed and yeah Okay, well that's all the questions I thought there was gonna be a lot more but this video is already really long so yeah that is my first time tag and I'm sure in a few years when I've actually gotten out of school and I'm able to do things with my life <laughs> it'll be a lot more interesting but that's it and you should follow me and subscribe below and shout out to all of you who already are subscribed to me you're awesome. What else was I going to say? Oh yeah, okay. So I'm posting this video on Valentine's Day. It's going to be really cool, so y'all should check it out. Talking about being single on Valentine's Day and why society makes us feel like we shouldn't be. Okay, so check it out. It'll be awesome. And yeah, have a great day. Subscribe and you're all beautiful. Bye.